I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to simplify a trigonometric product of cosines and then find the integral. The question here is to find integral of cos x times cos 2x times cos 5x dx. Now there could be a chain of such things, right? Okay, so the idea is that we have the formula cos a plus b which is uh, cos a cos b minus sin a sin b, right? And then cos a minus b can be written as cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. So when you add them up, so when you add these two, that is cos a plus b plus cos of a minus b, in that case, the sign terms cancel out and you get two times cos a cos b, right? So you could write cos a cos b as half of this. So you could write cos a cos b equals to half of some of these two, which is cos a plus b plus cos a minus b, right? This is one thing which you knew. Now, the order does not really matter since uh, we also know that cos of minus theta equals to cos of theta. So in the case of cos, a minus b or b minus a really doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm just saying that since uh, we could change these orders if required. Now, applying what we have just learned here, uh, what we can do is we can uh, write this product into some form. The idea is in integral, we don't have any way to find integrals of products and quotients, right? So we want to write them as sum and difference. So let me combine these two first, and then we'll combine the third one. So we could write this as integral of, so we are applying this formula, half cos of a plus b plus cos of their difference, right? So half, we could write cos of x plus 2x plus cos of we could write 2x minus x right even x minus 2x if you get negative you know this negative is okay so we write 2x minus x and times we have cos 5x dx right which gives us integral of half of cos of 3x plus cos of 2x minus x is x cos of 5x dx. Now we can open this bracket, bring half outside, so we get half integral of cos 3x cos 5x plus cos x cos 5x dx. Correct? Okay. So that gives you half integral of, again we can apply the same rule for both these uh, products of cosines. So we write sum and product, right? So cos of sum is 8x, right? 8x plus difference is 2x. So cos of 2x, this is for the first one. Then for the next one, we'll write this, okay. Sum is 6x and the difference is 4x. dx right now it is easy to find the integral once we have in this form we can say cos integral is sine so we get sine right? 8x divided by 8 plus sine 2x divided by 2 plus sine 6x divided by 6 plus cos I mean sorry sine 4x divided by by 4, right? Now, you can take a, a common denominator if you want to really simplify this, which will be a big number, or you can just leave it like this. So we can just open and multiply by half all these numbers. We can write this as sine 8x over 16 plus sine 2x over 4 plus sine 6x 
over 12 plus sine 4x over 8, right? So that becomes the integral of the given function. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.